Hello to all you uh, cubicle chicks out there. You are watching the Cubicle Chicks uh, YouTube video. Um, and this week, uh, I have a kind of different subject to talk about. Something that um, I have experienced in my life and may maybe many of you have experienced it in yours as well. So I wanted to just kind of put a video out there and, and see if I could get some responses. Um, last night I was watching uh, Celebrity Rehab. I think is what it's called, um, with Dr. Drew on VH1. It's not a program that I normally watch, but for some reason I saw um, on Facebook one of my friends was saying that they were watching it, and I thought, well, I'll, I'll tune in. And um, if you don't know the premise of the show, basically um, celebrities uh, or former celebrities, uh, usually they're by now C-list, D-list, they've ruined their careers and whatnot, they uh, go into a rehab-like facility, um, that um, Dr. Drew runs and basically their whole journey to sobriety is filmed it's quote unquote reality TV I really still don't know how real it is but in any instance um, this year's uh, celeb uh, rehab cast includes Dennis Rodman who has had some trouble with alcohol he's been arrested a couple of times um, the other people were Heidi Fleiss who uh, was a Hollywood madam at one time um, and um, now she's uh, addicted to I think crystal meth and some other things uh, Tom Sizemore who used to be uh, her boyfriend he has a bad addiction um, a girl from America's Next Top Model I can't remember what her name was she was in one of the earlier seasons and the list goes on and on um, also Mackenzie Phillips is there as you know she was on One Day at a Time and she came out with a book last year uh, speaking of her drug use with her father and the rape uh, her father raped her uh, so anyway all these people are basically in this rehab facility to get help into uh, towards sobriety and uh, in one of the first um, scenes there's like a group session which everybody talks about the rock bottom and what each and every one of them I think failed to even think about or mention is the effect that their uh, addiction has on their family and the reason why I bring this up is because I lived with uh, addictive parents as well. My um, father and mother both used marijuana um, throughout my childhood. That was something that was always in my house. Um, that was something that um, I had gotten used to seeing around the house. Um, I was a little embarrassed sometimes when my friends would come over, but it was kind of overlooked. Um, when I was about 12 years old, I believe, my father started using cocaine. I think my mother used it too, but she just used it a few times. I don't think she got hooked. Well, my dad got hooked. And when I say he got hooked, he got hooked to the point that um, one day my VCR, uh, we were living in Phoenix, Arizona. I was an only child, and I will say I was have blessed to have many material items. And um, one day I went in my room and my VCR was gone. It was a Betamax, but it was mine. And I found out later that he had pawned it. Um, there was a couple of times where basically we didn't have any food. I had to eat Domino's pizza every day, like for a month. And I, I really didn't know what was going on. But my mother finally one day pulled me aside. I remember it was the summertime. She pulled me aside. Oh, no, no, no. I remember what happened. I was supposed to go to a camping trip. Um, like a seventh grade end of the year camping trip and the check bounced and I could not go and I remember thinking why did the check bounce but come to find out it was because my father was using all the money on cocaine and my mom pulled me aside later that summer and basically said if he doesn't get his act together she told me he had a problem and that if he didn't get his act together that we were both going to move back here to St. Louis because she couldn't take it anymore Suffice to say, when my father was given this ultimatum about having his baby girl taken away, his only child, he quit cold turkey, which I am sure was not easy for him. But what happened is when he quit cold turkey, he traded one addiction for the other. So he stopped the cocaine and started drinking. And by the time we moved to Tampa, Florida, when I was in 10th grade, uh, excuse me, 9th grade in Jacksonville, um, it had ex escalated to, like, really, really bad um, heights. He had DUIs. He would drink so much he would black out. He was starting to hide liquor in, like, the um, 
the toilet, you know, when you lift up the toilet uh, lid and there's the flange and the water, he would hide the liquor there thinking that no one would see it. Um, it got really, really bad. And I can say that alcoholism was one of the things uh, that tore my family apart, tore my mom and dad apart. And um, eventually they did get divorced when I was 18. Um, my, when you talk to my father, my father now does not drink. Um, I can't say, quote unquote, he's sober and he's been, um, um, you know, rehabbed or anything like that. He never had any formal rehab that I know, but I know all the drinking has affected his health. Um, he has a bad heart. He has diabetes. He has liver problems and all of this, they say, um, could be from the many, many years of abusing alcohol. Um, but when you talk to my father about this now, and I never wanted him to say I was so he was sorry, but I just kind of wanted him to validate his behavior. He won't do it. He looks upon my childhood as, you know, I had everything. I was happy. I was lucky. Um, I was blessed. And we had a great house. And we had all these things. But I didn't have my real dad when he was drunk, which was a lot of the time. And um, he just won't acknowledge it now. I mean, I love my father, but he will not acknowledge it. Um, and I don't know if he ever will. But, you know, while looking at the show, I just realized that these people, you know, to be an addict, you're, you have to be self-centered because you only think about yourself. And none of the celebrities on that show, number one, if they admitted they had a problem, none of them would say that the problem was affecting anybody else, which we all know it affects everybody in, in your life. Um, so I'd like to hear does any stories out there. Are there anybody that is currently, um, you know, sober um, from from drugs and alcohol or other substances? Um, is there anybody out there that grew up in a drug household and an alcoholic parent like I did? Um, I know there are many stories out there. I wanted to share mine because um, I'm still living with it. I'm 34 years old. I have two children of my own and I'm still living with the things that my parents did. Um, when I was younger, the drug use, um, the late night parties, I still even sometimes have nightmares about that because um, there were a lot of things that went on that I was privy to that as a you know child I should have never been privy to. So use the comment button, feedback, if you want to do a reply video, do that as well. Visit my site www.com thecubiclechick.com. Um, you can also comment on there and you can also follow me on Twitter at the cubicle chick. And I'll talk to you next week with another video. And um, you guys have a good good weekend. It's Friday, TGIF. So uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.